Hello, farmers. I'm Derek. And I'm Aldo. This is FFTV. Homecoming is closing in on us with three more days left. D hey, did you know tomorrow's National Nachos Day? Really? Then it's time for me to buy some. Well, now on to the weather with Sam. Hello everyone, my name is Sam, and today I'm here to give you the weather forecast. Wednesday will be partly cl cloudy with a temperature of 84 degrees with a chance of rain of 6%. Uh, 6%. Thursday will be partly cloudy with a temperature of 83 degrees and a chance of rain of 12%. Friday is going to be mostly cloudy with a temperature of 83 degrees and a chance of rain of 24%. And that's all for today. Back to Brian and Aldo. Thank you for the weather report, Sam. And now for our homecoming info. Homecoming week activities have already started from October 17th to October 23rd. Uh, today is homecoming parade, which will be starting at 6 p.m. Tomorrow will be class color day. Freshmen will wear black, sophomores will wear gray. And uh, for our homecoming game, it will be on the 22nd. After that, will finally be homecoming dance on the 23rd for 9th to 12th graders. Now on to FSPN with Juan. Farmers, I'm Juan bringing you FSPN for this week. To start things off, our lady farmers will be playing at home against Compel on October 22nd. 9B will start at 6.30 p.m. 9A will start at 5.30 p.m. JV will start at 5.30 p.m. And Varsity will start at 6.30 p.m. Make sure you come on down and support our lady farmers. Next is our football boys. Freshman White will play October 21st at Coppell at 5.30 p.m. Freshman Maroon will play at will play October 21st at Coppell at 7 p.m. Junior Varsity White will play October 21st at Coppell at 5.30. Junior Varsity Maroon will play on October 21st at Coppell at 7 p.m. And finally, Varsity will play against Coppell on October 22nd at Main at 7 p.m. Make sure you come on down to support our football boys. That is it for FSPN. Now back to Aldo and Brian. Thank you for the sports one. Speaking of sports, LHS basketball team will be holding open trials on the 23rd. To be eligible for trials, you must bring a clear UIL physical and a report card showing you have passed all your classes the first nine weeks. If you do not provide both, you will not be allowed to trial. Now for our cup stacking game. Go. Wait, 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 my cup fell out. I'm sorry. <laughs> Just keep going. My cup. Ready, set, go. The, the cup is stuck. That's not my problem. Talk to me nice. Talk to me nice. <laughs> so close. Uh, 
<laughs> that was some fast cup stacking. Also for any LHS games, join the rowdy crowd, which anyone can join. Now on to B Harming with Miss Cartmail. And we're back for another episode of B Harmon. So I am here with Miss Fairley. So what's your name? Uh, my name is Valerie. And I'm here with Miss Charters, who's one of our English teachers. And I am here with Kaylee, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm here with Martavion, is that correct? Tell us your first and last name again. Martavion Barton. Mr. Barton. I am here with Miss Mora, one of our English teachers. And uh, what club is it that you have? So I actually have the phonography club. That's what I'm saying. Okay, our club. We just spoke to an art teacher. Video game club. Video game club. Well, first I have to ask you now, what is your favorite video game? Um, I like Call of Duty or um, GTA 5, stuff like that. And graphic design slash mental health. Hmm, that's an interesting combination. Uh, yes, I'm Athena. You sponsor. I sponsor the art club and we have close to 90 students signed up over two days. Wow, that's a lot of kiddos. And what so far has been, I know you just started, so you just yep. got to get used to them. What has been your, your favorite thing about doing clubs and, and, and introducing them to our campus so far? I love doing clubs, particularly in my subject, because some students who can't take art can then still enjoy being creative and have those creative thought process going on. And what was so awesome about last Thursday and Friday. What is that club about? Uh, it's an alliance with all the Hispanic um, students. Okay. And in that club so far, I'm assuming you like it, you joined it, you picked it. So what do you expect to do in there? So what we had kind of decided, we, we actually spoke together, we all kind of came together to make this up um, because we had decided, hey, we need to do something that everybody feels involved with. So I let them kind of vote and decide what um, environment they wanted to be a part of. And a lot of them had said mental health, is, mental health awareness is something that's really special to them. Um, because they've been more avidly learning about that as they've grown older. Um, and obviously I just put a tweak of graphic design because I have a background in graphic design, so I felt most comfortable you know, being able to teach that to um, younger people who don't have a background of it. So the basis of it is that we're going to eventually be creating graphic design such as posters, infographics, Instagram posts about mental health. That's what made you decide to join Video Game Club? Well, I was just naturally into um, video games when I was very young, and I, like that's the environment that I grew in. So, like things that go like that's inside my environment, like my comfort zone, I like to go towards those things. Art club. Why did you pick that club? Because I like um, painting and I like painting on the art projects. Okay. Then you haven't gone just yet, yet, no. right? But she's coming. She's coming to it. So, what's something that you hope you guys get to do, or some big project, or something that you're hoping? that you can accomplish this year in your club? So it's a little bit small just because, you know, I'm not entirely sure how big we can make this, but uh, I do want to have little competitions with kids within the club where every time that we meet, we're actually going to have a picture of nature, we'll have an activity picture, we're different things like that, and we'll actually get to vote for the best one, and I'm planning on printing all of these out and putting them in my classroom, so it's really just Decoration purposes. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a lot of fun. So you heard it here. There's another club for you to consider. School year, what's something that you're looking forward to doing with your club later on in the school year? Or how do you see it evolving? Well, we've got a few ideas going on. First of all, it's going to be, we want to do some things for Harmon, for our teachers. We want to create thank you notes. We want to create like little postcards. We want to do Christmas decorations and holiday decorations. and. We want to be involved in homecoming, um, and we're going to partner up with Stuco. And if some of the clubs could work together, it'd be amazing. And we're going to do a homecoming flip. So oh, the kids fun. are really excited about that. That does sound like fun. So if you didn't sign up for our club, you are missing out. But maybe you'll have better luck next time. So thanks for listening. Really cool. And what's something that, if you, you know, in the dream world, what's something that you would want to see you all do by the end of the year? What's the big shebang? What's something awesome you would love to do with this club? Um, I think it would be really cool, uh, not only is it we're trying to do a graphic design slash mental health, but I also want to be able to help them have their own voices when they're doing this and be able to speak on it um, and not be so scared of the limelight. So I, I you know, it would be really cool if we could have um, some of the girls speak um, to the, the student body. Um, by the end of the year, give maybe a couple of speeches and talk about what, what, it, what it takes to build your mental health and how important it truly is and, and why there's such a stigma attached to it and so that we can erase that.
I think that's great that you're offering those opportunities to our kids. So you heard it here. So there's another club for you guys to think about. Next semester, you might be too late this time, but maybe next time you'll get in. So awesome. And what's something you hope you get to do in Video Game Club? Um, probably meet new people that like have the same interest as I and, you know, probably play a couple of video games as well. That might be fun. All right, well, thank you so much. So what's something that you hope you guys get to do this year? I'm hoping that we can, like, celebrate the Hispanic culture and get together and get to, get to meet um, some friends. And That'd be a lot of fun. All right, thank you so much. It was nice to meet you, and make sure you join. I did something. She said it best. What do you hope you get to do in art club? I hope I get to um, work together with somebody. Okay, Miss Fairley, you heard that. This is what she wants to do in our club. All right, thank you so much, Kennedy. Go Farmers. Go Farmers. Thank you so much. Go Farmers. Thanks, guys. Go Farmers. Go Farmers. Go Farmers. Go Farmers. All right, go Farmers. Go Farmers. Thank you so much. Go Farmers. What's your name? Ricardo. I'm Adrian Santos. Oh, my name is Roscoe Bing, but everybody calls me CB. Ms. Bella Sanchez. And what clubs do you, are you in? My Thursday club is French club. And my Friday club is Southern club. Um, student council. Oh, um, my Thursday club, I got um, the card game. And then my Friday club, I got world job affairs. On um, Thursday, I have college career readiness, and on Friday, I have puzzle Q. Thank you. All right, thank you. Wait, we almost forgot. Unfortunately, homecoming tickets have ran out, but luckily, if Maine has any leftover tickets, they will be split between Harmony and Kilo, and so tomorrow and Friday. Wow, I thought there would have been way more winners. Speaking about winners, if you haven't voted yet, vote for Harmon Heroes, because voting ends today. Well, that's all. We enjoyed seeing y'all in y'all's homecoming t-shirts. Be chill, Louisville. Louisville.